eight years ago, so we had a we we had campaign against the Musk, the huge Danish shipping company, huh? We campaign against uh, the Musk companies who who had a uh, container manufacturing factories in uh, Guangdong. And we have received uh, complaints uh, uh, from workers that uh, 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 that because of this harsh factories uh, 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 management, uh, the workers are uh, rebelling by spontaneous strikes. To the point, you know, what drives this lead, uh, that this workers crazy is what? They were treated like prisoners. When they were, uh, uh, when there is uh, lunch time, they were, uh, 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 they were, uh, uh, of course, uh, they go to the canteen and so on. Uh, but very often, the workers would get, would get fined. They would get fined for the smallest thing. For instance, uh, uh, the rules of the factory runs like this. Uh, any workers who leave their place on the table uh, after, after uh, finishing their meal will get fined. Anyone who do not uh, have the factory cars with them will get fined. You get fined for the most minute so-called offenses. And uh, also the uh, factories, uh, security guards, treat them also like prisoners. Anyone who are disrespect of these security guards will get beaten up. And that's drive workers crazy and they have two strikes and actually uh, destroyed some of the properties because of anger. And we campaign against the most companies. And uh, we make the, uh, the, we, we, call, uh, we we have friends in Danish, uh, in Denmark, and then we get the television crews came to shot a, 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 a documentary and reported in Denmark, and it becomes a scandal for them, and they are in trouble, and they sent the, 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 the boss of the uh, uh, Corporate Social Responsibility Department straight to Hong Kong to talk to us, and so on and so forth. I don't go into detail, but eventually, the more we dig in, the more horrible situation is, is revealed. Huh? Workers get poisoned without protection gear and so on and so forth. So we continuously campaign against them for over a year, yeah, including uh, attending their annual general meetings in uh, Copenhagen to campaign against them. So this is a, 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 a this kind of uh, inhumane working condition. I would describe it as barrack like factory regime. Even worse in many cases than many, many even for poorer countries. But now, the problem about China investment is they, this, uh, 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 this uh, 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 foreign aid guideline is totally forgotten. The Chinese government actually making very clear that uh, we, as any investment, we want profit. China investment today, of course, not just about profit. They are, there are two objectives. Firstly, profit. Secondly, is geopolitical interest. Okay? So, of course, they can for instance, uh, they can they can they can uh, charge uh, the the quarter port in Pakistan. It's, it is told that it is interest free because it is the quarter port in Pakistan. They can this is a very important uh, gateway for Chinese uh, the, the merchandisers and also Chinese uh, because Chinese is heavily dependent on Middle East oil and so on. So the Guadalajara is very, very important in strategic point of view. But in cases where there is less about this geopolitical interest, then it is commercial interest which will override everything. And that is why we had a situation in Sri Lanka. 
where uh, uh, the Chinese uh, gives a lot of loan to Sri Lanka, and in the end they could not pay back. And then the Chinese government told them, okay, give us uh, your Hambatota port for 90 years. Okay? And then uh, we, uh, the, the, uh, uh, and then uh, we can waive your debt. And uh, this uh, uh, drive uh, the, uh, the, the, port, the, dog, the, dog, the dog workers crazy and they took, took actions uh, against uh, the, the Chinese uh, 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 management, but uh, they were repressed. Too. But you can see this kind of uh, trade-off is uh, uh, doing exactly what uh, what uh, 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 what Chairman Mao has been attacking. This is uh, economic imperialism, right? Yeah, uh, I, I met uh, the World Council uh, peoples uh, in the in the in the uh, Piraeus port uh, last year when I. Uh, participate in the AEPF uh, conference in Belgium. Uh, the, 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 the workers there experience uh, uh, job losses, attack on union rights, retaliation against union leaders, and at one point uh, uh, when the workers strike against the management uh, decisions, uh, uh, asking the governments to send uh, police into the dockyards to repress on the workers. So this is outrageous. That I means the Piraeus Port uh, Union leaders are trying to uh, uh, link up with uh, port workers in the other European cities. Uh, and I think this is a, a very uh, important and uh, 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 a step. Surely, uh, the Hamburg is uh, uh, is very one of the very important uh, uh, port uh, for China uh, export and investment. Uh, I was told that uh, earlier already that uh, a few years ago, the uh, uh, Hamburg, uh, the China trade accounts for nearly one-third of the Hamburg uh, total cargo. So it's quite dependent on that already five, six years ago. And today, is uh, uh, because of the Belt and Road now, China is uh, 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 are, uh, looking to two important cities uh, as the uh, uh, final destiny of the Belt and Road Initiative in Europe. One is Strasbourg, the other is Hamburg. So it's, um, uh, 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 there is already an uh, announcement that China proposed uh, to the Hamburg city that, uh, uh, that, um, uh, that will allow Chinese capital to build a new terminal in the Hamburg port. Uh, but as I have spoken to the work council people there, they are uh, 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 they are very concerned about uh, the feasibility of this port because Hamburg port uh, business has not been so good uh, for the past years already. Uh, the Rotterdam port handle more cargoes uh, than, than Hamburg port, which means some of the cargoes has been shifted to the to, to the Rotterdam port to handle. So there is. Now there is a concern about overcapacities of the Hamburg port. But if there is, uh, if such overcapacity is sustained, then what is the point of having a new terminal, which is not good to business? Uh, this will only uh, increase uh, uh, cut flow competition. And secondly, uh, uh, because the port is, uh, uh, I don't know whether it's semi or fully automated, but anyway, it requires uh, uh, not much uh, hands uh, to operate. In this case, which means that with an overcapacity and a new capacity adding uh, on top of it, uh, uh, 
the, the Hamburg uh, port people are concerned about of, uh, of downsizing of workforce. So this is uh, these kind of things uh, uh, is uh, is a big issue for the, for those who work there, and especially uh, the, the 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 matter of uh, lack of transparency that uh, there is uh, no detail information about the China's uh, investment plan. Actually, the Hamburg uh, the, the uh, World Council people uh, told me that they know not. They know there's no information. They know nothing of the terms of China's investment in Hamburg. And actually, in general, it is very difficult to get information. What is the interest rate? What is the term? Huh? Is there any uh, uh, under the table deal? Huh? Especially corruption. Is there any government officials are receiving bribes? There's no information. All about this no information. So it is. Uh, 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 without information, how are you going to monitor it? How are you going to make judgment on whether it is a good thing or a bad thing? So this is uh, things that uh, uh, is uh, what I learned from the Hamburg uh, Potter uh, uh, people.